Now they do say that baking is a science, and quite frankly that was always one of my weaker subjects at school. When I'm in the kitchen, I've always found that throwing a dish together with love is usually the best way to guarantee success. However, even I can manage a good scone. They're so simple and delicious. A few of you did ask for me to share my scones recipe after watching my last video about how to create the perfect afternoon tea at home. These scones are of course vegan, but don't let that discourage you. They taste exactly the same as a regular scone. In fact, they might even be a little bit more delicious. I have 350 grams of self-raising flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, 95 grams of vegan spread, a handful of raisins, three tablespoons of caster sugar, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and 150 ml of soy milk plus extra to glaze. To start, I'm going to take the flour and add the baking powder, salt, sugar and butter. I'm going to use my fingertips to rub these together and create a fine breadcrumb. Now I'll confess, I absolutely detest this part. Ever since I was a child, I have hated getting my hands dirty. Try to rub as delicately as possible. You don't want to overwork the mixture. Imagine you're massaging a cute little puppy, and when you have fine breadcrumbs, that's when you know you're done. Now I'm going to stir in the raisins and pour in the milk, stirring with a knife until all the mixture is combined and you have a dough. And now back to the dirty work. With your hands, knead everything together until you can form a ball. I'm dusting the table with a sprinkling of flour and I'm going to use a rolling pin to roll out the dough until it's about an inch thick. I'm just using a cookie cutter and I'm going to place the scones on a baking tray. I lost my baking brush a long time ago, so I'm just using this paintbrush and I'm going to spread a little bit of milk on each scone so that it has a nice glaze. These will go into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 12 to 14 minutes until they're golden brown. I took my scones from the oven and left them to cool on a baking tray for 5 minutes. I like them warm, so they don't need to cool for too long. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you'll have a go at baking your own scone soon. Today I'm just having jam with mine. Cream, I've had a lot of cream for the last few days, so I'm just going light with jam. Whichever way you do serve them, add a lovely cup of tea, and the whole experience is just pure bliss. 
I'll see you all again soon. Bye bye.